Welcome to the channel everyone, and here's a message from your main reader of the new world, here it goes again. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So, if you don't know me very well, I'm only 10 subscribers at the moment. I am here it goes again. And one thing on this channel I've tried to make sure very fucking clearly, or very obviously, is I support Donald Trump. Right. So, there's no chance I'm not going to be endorsing him for this election of obviously on election day, this would be the day. But I thought I'd better tell you exactly what got me to bling to like this man so much. Because there's no need to like this man. I mean, they have no reason at all. I have no reason. This guy has no effect on me whatsoever. So, why do I care? Why do I care? I mean, he's in America, I'm in England. So it doesn't make a difference, does it? It makes no difference to me whatsoever. But I'm going to tell you a funny story. A funny story about what I began. Four years ago, I betted money on Donald Trump at Ladbrokes. A uh, UK-wide um, gambling place, you know, just, yeah. Anyway, what started four years ago was a bet on if Donald Trump would win. He won me 40 quid. Thank you, Trump, for that. 40 quid. No idea what it's spent it on. Probably booze. So, what happened after four years ago? Well, I saw the entire media narrative lose their fucking minds. They lost their minds that Donald Trump had won. And for me, who was just getting into the political sphere four years ago in 2016, for this made absolutely no effect to me whatsoever. But then recently, at the same time, I just recently had the succession of Brexit, which we finally, four years later, have actually got some sort of conclusion. Whether it actually is a conclusion, I don't know. No. So, for four years, after winning that 40 pound, 40 quid, 40 pounds, bucks, whatever you want to call it, I never had anything to do with Donald Trump. But, the media never let go. This was one thing that I noticed a lot. Although if Donald Trump won the election, if he did not, he was the racist, he was the bigot, he was the bad guy. And I have never been a big fan of the media, right? It's been a progression. And most of the things I've learned through about America, about the UK, and about other things in the world has been from people that are watching America. And now you might be thinking, yeah, so you're just watching all the Nazis and all the racists. I actually haven't much watched any black racist people, so that's pretty fucking phenomenal, to be honest, because most of the people I watch are black conservatives. Now, there's a difference between conservatives and Trump supporters. No, there's not. Not really. A conservative supports Trump because they realise the Democrats are lying to them for every fucking year that they get. And more and more times I see people in the United States getting questioned about why do you support him? You're just a tomboy. You're just a racist. I mean, this, this just goes amongst all communities. I mean, I am not joking. This is absolutely hysterical. But, it's actually really shameful. Because the entire narrative I've realised is between the left and the right. The people in... The Democrats versus the Republicans. And yes, we know politicians are fucking terrible. We know they are. Especially the left ones have come out to find them because the amount of policies they've been trying to issue through the House of uh, you know, Representatives and so on and so on. It's not my country anyway. Things have been changed throughout the years. And one thing I've noticed is Donald Trump. When you never shut the fuck up about one guy that's so bad, so evil, and then when all the conservative people on the internet are the ones to defend him, are actually making common sense arguments, and then when the left make their ones, like the Young Turks, uh, CNN, MSNBC, when they argue about Donald Trump being this racist bigot and whatever, the narratives don't seem to add up. And then... There's the man himself. Yes. One thing I never understood. If this guy was racist, if he was a bigot, if he was a woman abuser, whatever the fuck you want to call it, 
How come he started getting laces when he ran for election? He was in WWE, he was in Home Alone 2, and he was in other shows and The Apprentice. But somehow this never got up out anywhere. Is this just because he was a big wealthy billionaire from his dad and his granddad's succession? I don't know. And wouldn't this come out in the media sooner? Would this not be a highlighted subject with this everyone loved this man? And now, as soon as he goes for president, he fucking is hated by? Makes no sense, in my eyes. I mean, if I was someone with big power, I thought probably would get looked at way more often than I should. And funny enough, Donald Trump's legacy has fell. Because when most presidents succeed, when they go for presidency, they get book publishings and all that, they get the success, goes up beyond the roof. Predictions are saying Donald Trump's ones will go beyond the fucking grave because everyone will hate him for no reason. The amount of times the media, the narratives, the Democrats have pushed something towards Donald Trump, you have just created a target for us, the Republicans, and conservative-minded people to go against you. Because when you don't make full fact arguments, this is my case, when you don't make full-fledged arguments that make no sense to go against a man that seems to be doing so evil things, I don't get it. That is just the one main thing that doesn't get it. And when I see you tell Donald Trump to do something, that he's been bad, he's been in Russia collusion, but then Joe Biden and his son does it! What a conclusion! And what is it that Joe Biden's brother has a million dollar or a billion dollar deal to Iraq to build homes? And it's like that guy's ever known how to build a fucking home in his life. But it's okay because we can talk about that every fucking day that we want because we're just racists. Right? So, why would I endorse Donald Trump? Like, from that stupid narrative. I look at the facts. We look at the facts. And no matter what 2020 has done this year, there's one thing that's been positive. We have been able to figure out fact from fiction, fiction from fact, without the fucking internet telling us so. And this will be the most vital election in the free world. America stands for the free world. It stands for the free world of the West and the free world of society where we should all be working a democratic society. Remember, America is a republic, not a dictatorship. Pretty much like every country in Europe's turning into a dictatorship, but that's been old history for fucking years, so it's all right. So, when I look at a president, I look at his history. I look at what he has done, and what not what the media says. It's what I can look at myself and determine my own mind. That is what a conservative-minded person can do. They can determine what they think about one person from the narrative of what they watch and what they see and what they hear from when they research. But there's too many people that follow the media's narrative. And yeah, you're the bigger one. Yes, you have big billionaires and CNN companies and all that shebang behind you doing everything you can say. I admit that. That is fucking impressive. That is impressive you got that much fucking power. But when this one man, one man wins, you lose your shit. And for four years, you have lost your shit. But you cover up all the good things this man has done. Like, the First Step Act. The First Step Act was one of the four measures towards under 10% of the actual criminal system in America. But what did it do? Although this was only made nearly 10, 9 months ago, this reform bill helped massively the, back, the black population in America, where people who would actually be charged with false accusings would actually be set free because the system didn't give them enough evidence. Because remember, there were people who were charged with cocaine charges, but then nothing would happen to them. But Kamala Harris was allowed to put them in jail for no fucking reason, right? And there was like many, many excuses underneath that banner of people who could not defend themselves. Mostly them, black Americans, where the crime rate of black Americans, which is still quite high, was falsely accused. 
and most of these people were run by Democrat judges who just did despite fucking black people. Okay, that's what it was. And the 1994 crime bill was that first step act's reverse effect. Because a lot of people were put in jail for no reason. No reason at all. But the hate crime bill, because of super pampers like Joe Biden, which Joe Biden actually wrote himself, which was an actual thing that was put into place in 94, and now the first step act is the thing that's helping black Americans get out of jail and make things better. What else has happened? Well, he has also endorsed the, co the economy. He's allowed people to be unself reliant on government loans and start building up their own businesses. And in fact, we have over a million people in America who's decided to make their own businesses. Fucking phenomenal. But great system of capitalism where people could start from nowhere and start building up. It's the American dream. Remember, people would leave Europe, Ireland, Scotland and Europe to go to America in the land of the free, in the land of the free willing and do what they want, where they have protected by light of the constitution, which is what Donald Trump has done as well. He has also helped people in America keep to their constitutional rights, the right to bear arms, the right to free speech, the right to press, and the right of free religion of themselves, or self-religion, you know? These people do not realize some of the freedoms that they get, but more like the people in America, they realize it more. The ones in Europe, they don't seem to realize that's an actual light they have been given. What else? What else? What else could there be? What, why would you favor him? Well, he has done effectively world peace. The first things I remember seeing about Donald Trump was meeting the leader of North Korea. King Jong-un, a guy that everyone would say, I never fucking have it, that would never happen, <laughs> and then they meet him. And then he met, he also meets President Xing of China, well that fucking went south. So, anyway, they meet with the world's worst leaders, like, Donald Trump, the first man, or the first president in America to meet the leader of North Korea and actually be in North Korea and not get shot? I'm sorry. This man seems to be building peace already. And then this last year alone, he has endorsed three different things where he's effectively made world peace. He has made peace in Czechoslovakia where the now they stop the fighting and the tensions thanks to America, but they're not involved, but they have allowed them to make the peace together. And what else have they done? They've also made Israel a recognized country and not an enemy of the Middle East. Now the Jews can live in fucking peace for a change. And the first embassy is of America is in Israel, in Jerusalem. And also other countries are starting to put their embassies in that country too, aren't they? From Saudi Arabia. They are putting their countries little embassies in there too because they have to realize them as a country they're no longer on tensions with each other they are not on tensions and you know what great 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 and you know what he's also done he's also built that bloody wall of his hasn't he he's built that wall he has ever made He's made that wall because he said he was going to build the wall he's going to make the Mexicans pay for it and what happens He's, they are paying for the war because it's their fucking problem, isn't it? It's they are helping him. They, he's giving the border as much defense and war as they need. And there's a fucking wall there now to defend America from illegal immigrants and coyotes. Not the fucking four-legged things. He has also done another thing. He's also made the black unemployment the lowest it's been in years. He's also actually been the first president not to go to war with any other country, funny enough, even Obama didn't even make that fucking record. He has also made the economy grow massively. He's allowed the economy to be so small from the Obama administration to grow it better, bigger and better than it ever was before, before 2020 hit. And you know what? 2020 was a blast. Honestly, from watching the whole shit at Bang going down, he defended America when the Democrats say they would not. He shut down the borders when it was necessary. He said no more people coming from there, no more people coming from there, and no terrorists coming from that area as well. 
Remember that? Remember what he also did there? He also got rid of a terrorist. He also got rid of Soleimani. Remember that guy? The guy who's actually responsible for the death of thousands of American lives? Unnecessary amount, amount of lives? You know what he did? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to listen to the media that would have destroyed my life. Send the drone, dude. Boom. Dead. Now, the media hate him for bits. But then, when Bin Laden was killed, where was the symphony for that guy? Weird that, eh? And also, the economy. Back to the economy while I was on about. He also made the economy way better than it was before. Just before Corona hit. Just before the virus decided to hit everything. When coronavirus hit America, Donald Trump shut the borders down when they were necessary. But when you have people like Nancy Pelosi saying, go around and have a day in China Day and do, you know, go to Chinatown when the virus is coming from China and they denounce China and Donald Trump got his amazing meme, by the way. China. China. And it was actually great to watch. And you know what? He did it all he could. I mean, America could, could only do what it could, right? It could have done more because of Black Lives Matter going in. Because Black Lives Matter got involved. And then they said, oh, this, this, and that. And then Donald Trump became the badass of the first few months. And he was like the guy, the president, the Christian belief. Black Lives Matter became the fascist organization that worked with Antifa. And he said, those people of Antifa were fascist. Those people were fascist and the worst people in the world. They were terrorists. And thank God he did. He never said the Black Lives Matter. Though. That was a bit weird. But he did it to Antifa. And he called them the terrorists because we know what it is. People like me will get targeted that by these people. Because we want to spread our opinions. But they do not. And they call themselves anti-fascist. Crazy. And what he, did he do? I mean, you could have said he did nothing with the coronavirus pandemic. But then the thing is, what could you have done? What could you have fucking done? Lock the things down and when WHO changes their mind every two seconds despite getting funded by China. Well, what do you want to do? Run your country and make sure it doesn't completely fuck up. And now the economy seems to go and glow in again after the pandemic has originally destroyed lives. Although it's killed millions of people, most of these people are under the conditions of how they died. CDC 94%, look at that. But you might not be convinced. You might be not convinced by that at all. But let's go and look at things, how things were run during this whole three months, six months of closed down, pandemics, Black Lives Matter and so on. See what came up after that. Democrat cities going fucking shit. Democrat cities run to the blim and as soon as you have your different opinion, boom, punch in the face, boom, punch in the face because you still don't agree with a certain movement, boom. What did the Republicans do? They have rallies. They go caravans of trucks, caravans of people, people doing stuff enjoying themselves. But then the Democrats on cities are burning to shit. Like they're burning, literally burning. Like the CNN and the poor, it's not burning. It's not burning at all. It's fine. You know, it's really phenomenal. When you see the Republican on cities, they seem to be doing fine. But when Democrat cities are running, they seem to make autonomous zones for themselves and these lefty people are just shown to have no fucking idea how things work in the real world. That's all they are. Idiots that don't realise how the world really works. I mean, you don't have to listen to me about any of these points I make. You don't have to listen to them. But I say, a man who can create peace from foreign countries that have no involvement in America, a man who can control a pandemic in some sort of fashion in much better one than the European countries have and a one who actually looks after his country and economy more than his beliefs and ideals and sacrifices his own legacy to make the peoples better and plus he's also a businessman where his attitude when he talks to things is actually fucking amazing because he actually just talks like a normal fucking human being because for once, I can actually watch the guy without thinking this is a politician. This is what makes Donald Trump exclusionary different. He is a businessman. He makes deals, he wants to make things better, and he just tries to his best to do so. And you know what? He's done a fantastic job so far. So 
what I see is Trump 2020. And you know what? We're going American flag too, baby. We got American flag to go full United States of America proud. Hail to America. Hail to Donald Trump and hail to the US of A for the freedoms and sacrifices that it has to give us and it has before. Thank you very much for watching this video. I am very proud to be a supporter of Donald Trump, although I'm from a different country. Thank you and hail America and Godspeed. Donald Trump is your president and if you like it or not, keep the energy you had with Barack. Cause you know this Trump train don't stop Tell Beto to please come try to take my block You wanna impeach him I guess that's what you do when So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end So I must have done something like that You've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough So, thank you guys for watching this video Right to the end And if you want to support my channel in any other way Because we are planning to go big on this channel We are planning to make sure that the left knows us Make sure the cancel culture recognizes we are a threat. Like me and many other creators, our voices are being silenced every and each day. So we must make sure we stand out to the crowd. And I am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too. And if you want to help me support this, we are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Parler and Patreon. We're also on BitChute and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parler app and the BitChute so we can get more content on this for the special members on those pages and you get to see more events about what I'm doing. It's going to be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things. So make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing and we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here, guys. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. And remember, hail the Empire.